The Death Grip Bar Chord. This is probably your greatest enemy in developing continuity in the left hand of fine motor skills. I hear a lot of students and players talk about holding the guitar in a death grip when they're trying to make bar chords. And uh, this is a huge problem because it does create a lot of tension and then it does reduce the amount of mobility that you have in the other fingers. So what we're trying to do is really play with a very relaxed left hand while holding the bar chord. And it's more about form than a lot of people think. So the finger is always wanting to be parallel with the fret. And in concept, you want to focus on keeping the finger very straight, and you want the finger to be almost convex and not concave. And most people try to force a bar chord with their hand in a convex shape, where the center of the finger is actually away from the fingerboard, and push as hard as you want, that's really not going to help. It can be very frustrating and painful, so don't do it. And you want to figure out the effective and the efficient way to make a bar. And it's all about form, so let's not be too lazy about it. So this is the shape that you're looking for. So your finger is straight, and if you can, try to get a little bit of that center part of the finger pushing in more towards the neck of the guitar. So I've actually taken students' hands and put them into a proper position by asking them to be relaxed, and I'll just take their hand and put it in this basic shape, and then voila, they're actually able to play the chord. And then when they try it on their own, they fail to actually keep the pressure consistent across all six strings of the guitar, which is what we're really shooting for in this example. So what it comes down to is focusing on the natural movements of the hand and the fingers and keeping the ideal position of the bar. So the fingers definitely want to move in towards the hand this way, kind of like a one-handed clap. And you want to, as far as the bar, you're really trying to get your hand in this position while allowing the other fingers to move easily. Outside of having any physical limitations in your fretting hand, you'll find it much easier to play bar chords if you follow these three basic concepts. You want to develop finger strength, finger independence, and finally you want to focus on reducing tension pretty much in the entire hand when you're playing the bar chord. If you do have a physical limitation, you can practice the bar on as many strings as you can, and you can use the thumb technique with the wraparound thumb to play bass notes while still playing the rest of the notes of the chord. You can also practice bars with all the other fingers, and this will help you understand more deeply how to execute proper form and position when playing bars in any context. Here's some quick examples. So again, this is the standard position that you want to be making. Okay, keeping that finger straight and putting that in directly into the neck of the guitar, like so. Okay, and so some other examples that you can do is you can actually use other fingers to play bars, kind of like my pinky finger here, or even the third finger that. What you want to do is you don't want to stray from the natural movement of the hand and fingers. So as much as you can remember this. So again your fingers want to come in towards the palm like this or the one-handed clap and then the thumb is supporting that. So don't push too hard with the thumb. It's really the fingers doing the work coming down. So when you place the bar you want that finger to be straight as possible and then have your other fingers. So in, in theory, you kind of want to be as close to the fret as possible, but also parallel to the fret. <clears throat> of course, that's going to change slightly if you're doing other types of bars, or you're doing like that wraparound thumb that I talked about earlier, which is a possibility. Okay, and then one of the other things is you just want to make sure that your hands and fingers are all moving this way. So if you're like this, trying to play a bar, and your hand is in this kind of position, it's going to make it more difficult for the fingers to stretch. And then, if your finger is slightly curved, it doesn't matter how hard you're pushing, you're really never going to get those inner strings. So you want to make sure that you're keeping your finger flat across all six of the guitar strings. And that's focusing more on form than the actual pressure that you're using. So you really want to find that Minimal amount of pressure. You are using finger strength, obviously, but more of the independence and reducing of the tension is going to help you play the guitar more quickly than anything else.